Hello, this is Samsa again, and welcome to a new game. Also, that is not supposed to be there. Very good. Um, so, this is a game that I have sort of been wanting to play since, uh, you know, um, if you watch some of my older content, I used to play quite a bit of uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and I'm actually considering bringing back some of that, like, roguelike, roguelite content. And this is actually one of those kinds of games. This is a roguelite. Uh, it's a first-person roguelite called the Delver, and it's a it's a game that I've actually played through once before. This is still in early access, and um, I beat it like quite a while ago when it was still like an old version, and it has been updated quite a bit since then. Uh, so I decided that I would do at least one run of this game. Um, if I like, if I make it through, then I will make it through. If I don't, then I don't. Uh, if there is interest in this game, I might do more runs, but. Uh, for now, the plan is I'm going to do a run of this, and um, if I if I don't end up, you know, completing the game, then so be it. Um, but let's uh, let's start up the game, and the like. This is a fairly sort of uh, traditional-ish roguelite-ish. I mean, it's it's very difficult uh, describing these goddamn things. Um, but like the the idea here is fairly simple, and uh, it's a uh, very 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 typical of roguelikes. Uh, where our, our job is to go into this dungeon right here and uh, we need to go all the way down, retrieve an amulet, I believe, and get back up. Of course, the difference is that we are like doing this all in uh, like uh, first person 3D kind of world. I think I can read these notes. I might, might remember wrong. There we go. Rumor says that this place guards the greatest artifact of the old mage empire. It's said to be powerful enough to bend and warp reality. N. So we can actually find these kinds of uh, notes all over the place. And we are going to read some of them at least. I mean, I'm probably not going to end up finding all of them because the game does uh, sort of uh, uh, randomize everything. Notes in battle, 3rd edition. A focused attack will always hit, even in a plan. Yeah, 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 I know how this works. And yada yada yada, take stock. Basically that's just instructions, because the game doesn't actually have a tutorial. But basically the combat system works by you hold down the mouse button, and then you, if you hold down enough, then you do a focused attack, and that always hits. If you do this quick attacks, you might not hit. And... Um, yeah, it also told us to take a stock of what we have. So we have an iron dagger, we have a red potion. This is always healing, the first potion you get is always healing. It doesn't tell us what it is, but it's healing. We also have a missile wand and a stake. And then some armor, worn pants that actually do nothing. We could all, we could throw those away if we wanted to. I don't think there is anything that they actually do. But let's head towards the dungeon then. So the dungeon is like multi-leveled. Oh, there's a bright potion here. And um, there are like differently themed levels. The first one is obviously a fairly... Oh, an excellent fire wand. That is something useful. There's also a whole bunch of like random crap all over the place. It does have its uses, but it's mostly just random crap. Jordan, one of the guardsmen, went berserk. He started yelling about how we were all going to die and cut down two men before escaping further into the ruins. One of the victims died immediately. We bandaged up the other, but he's going to need one of those potions from the emergency supplies to keep infections away. Okay. I'm actually going to carry that around, because that might prove useful at some point. Oh, an excellent leather armor. That's going to replace my old armor. But the, like this is uh, like this game isn't. It doesn't have any classes. It like doesn't have a class system or anything like that. And it also doesn't really have skills. You get you get level ups, but like you can do pretty much anything from the get go. And then based on the like things you pick up, well, the kinds of level ups you pick up, the uh, your character can go in multiple directions. Basically, it's uh, either you use the normal-ish weapons, or you use the... Um... Oh, I think I have... Uh, uh, this is... 
Jura and some of our porters have gone missing. Did you send them on an errand? We're going to need them back to clear out some of this rubble. So these are probably like random guys that try to explore the dungeon. Secret door that is very obvious. Yeah, I have I've actually played through this game once before. Uh, but the game has gotten a little bit more difficult since then. Also, that is a mage. And this is the level up screen. So we can pick between various kinds of, like, it gives... These are not all of the things that we can increase. It does give you, us more choices. It kind of, like, randomizes the thing. So it gives us three things that we can improve upon. And uh, I think, like, health is pretty much universally the best choice. <laughs> At least it used to be. Take that. Oh, and better pants. Very good. Um, but yeah, I think you can improve like the amount of damage your um, magical gear does. So if you like to use those wands, then uh, you can improve on that. There's also like uh, bows. I can actually pick up these arrows. I still have plenty of inventory space, so might as well. But you can also improve, I think, the uh, damage you do with melee weapons, and I think agility affects the speed at which you can swing those weapons. Okay, you guys are being a little bit annoying there, and I think I wasted a whole bunch of magic missiles, and I need a better sword or a dagger, because this thing doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm getting tired of you. Oh, a fine short bow. I guess I'm going to take that. Yeah, now I can I can just drink the potion. I could have also eaten food. Eating food does the exact same thing as the healing potion, I think. Also, I really need a better weapon. Oh, that's a trap. But yeah, this is a, like pretty much as close as a first-person kind of game has gotten. Oh, a fine greater missile wand. 60 charges. That's going to be useful in the long run. Towards the end game, I think we're going to end up having to use quite a bit of the uh, wands, because the melee weapons don't tend to do that well in the end game. Let's just quickly make it through that. Oh, someone wants some magic. Anyway, everyone dead? Apparently not. Gonna throw some magic missiles around. Magic missile! Okay. Yeah, I need to find a weapon. Because I don't want to keep... Like, I don't want to keep wasting the... Uh, I think that's a mace right there, actually. Oh, damn it. Uh, I'm going to eat the steak. Like, the... Uh, Health, like the healing potion doesn't exactly... I mean, I could also increase my attack. I think I'm actually going to increase my attack because my current weapon feels a little bit weak. I think in the past the game used to be a little bit easier in, the, in terms of that. Oh, this is actually decent. A fine iron spiked mace of heft. Uh, sure, yeah, let's, let's pick that up. That should make things a little bit... Uh, this is actually a very quick weapon too. Like one of the biggest... Um, differences between weapons is how fast they are like if you like daggers and short swords are really fast so you get to swing them a lot more typically maces are also like very uh apparently that was yeah broken that's why it was doing like no damage um i think maces are supposed to be like slow weapons but i think the because this is like a legendary thing because it's it has a blue name and it's a mace of something so i think heft means that it's like quicker to swing so this is actually a very fairly nice weapon yep but it's yeah like it, it seems that they've actually patched quite a bit of uh like quite, quite a bit of new things into the game because when I last played this properly, the game had quite, like, it didn't have as many uh, interesting weapons. It used to be just, yeah, here's a regular maze, here's a broken maze. 
Now it seems to have a lot more of these kinds of special weapons that have special qualities. So I'm quite, a, I'm quite liking that. Because back when I played this for the first time, like when I played it through, it was actually a fairly boring game and it was very easy to actually just uh, cheese it. Uh, right, we actually need to pick that up. I want to read this book. I think. Can I actually read a book? I don't even remember if I can. Maybe I can't. Well, I'm gonna put my short bow there. So that I have more ranged options at my disposal. I think the books are probably just something that I cannot read. Maybe I'm dumb like that. My intelligence is way too low. Oh, crap. Um, oh, that's that's not that's not nice at all. Okay, you're going to get the mace. Uh, you're going to get the one for being an asshole. Oh, a scroll of greater health. I think that's a healing scroll. Uh, we could check what this does. It's a uh, slow. Okay, yeah, that just makes me slow. It also does do the like roguelike thing of just screwing you over every now and then. But at least now we know that those potions are slow potions. Also, I think someone teleported. I'm going to eat the. Actually, I could have probably eaten the apple for a little bit less healing. That was maybe a little bit wasteful. Excellent leather, I already have that, so I don't need that. Fine lesser wand of magic missile. Oh, another steak. Guess it wasn't uh, that wasteful after all, because we got ourselves a new uh, steak. And that is a pressure plate, and I think it was a pressure plate of teleportation. This is a way down. We could, uh, we could try that. Let's step on the pressure plate. Apparently I telefragged something, because I got I got uh, a level up from teleporting. Okay, I'm going to increase my health. Uh, yeah, hello. Oh, there you are. Luckily I have a mace. That does actually fairly decent damage, 8 to 10 damage. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, thanks. We're going to go here. There's also a lantern here, and since I don't have a shield, I might as well carry that. Um, I'm still a little bit... Uh, I haven't gotten used to the uh, the inventory management quite yet. Any news on that missing group? We checked outside and things looked clear. Maybe they start... Uh, maybe they started back home. Maybe they started going back... I don't know what they are saying. Uh, here's a different book, it's not closed, so maybe I can read this instead. Apparently not. I think you can also throw stuff around, and you can start, like, throw stuff onto those pressure plates if you want to just, put, like, uh, trigger them in a safe way. Is there anything here that I might want to check out? I'm not going to go and swim in the lava, that's not a thing. I guess I'm just going to go and, uh, exit... Well, get to the next le uh, next level, and I think this uh, actually it's the other way. This is back to the start. And it's important to actually know that because we're going to have to exit the dungeon at some point. So, which means that uh, we actually need to go through all of this backwards. Nope. I have a mace, and uh, I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, but you, you have a composite bow, and I do like that. I like it very much. Oh, you surprised me a little bit there, but no matter. I have a very, 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 very quick mace that can stab people. Not really stab, I suppose. Bash, more like. Bash people really fast. Is that anything? No, that's just a corpse. Okay, let's go down. I think, like, the 
there are uh, basically two levels to each level set. So this is like Dungeons 2. And I think after this... After this we can... we get to the other theme. I think that's how it works. They've also, I think, added more types of levels, so there are actually more themes than there used to be. Okay. But that probably also means that the dungeon is longer, which means that my chances of survival are a little bit dimish diminished. But yeah, like, like I did earlier, you can actually toggle these. Oh, that's actually a uh, painful, painful... Uh, pressure plate of death and destruction. A quick, excellent steel sword, which does more damage than my current thing. I'm gonna keep this just in case. I don't think there is, like, uh, weapon degradation. So, I don't think I really need to carry multiple weapons, but this is a little bit... Oh, an unholy excellent composite bow. Well, I am just running into all sorts of crazy things now. I wonder what the unholy means. Hmm. Yeah, when I first played this game, the game most definitely didn't have as many different kinds of uh, items. I'm, re I'm very happy about that, because uh, the game used to be a little bit... Uh, uh, do I want more magic to improve my ones? I think I'm just going to go maximum health. But yeah, when I played this for the first time, well, like this was uh, quite a while ago actually. Um, the like game, the game was a little bit uh, dull because all the weapons were more or less the same, and I think. It the, like, improving your health to the max was kind of a cheesy strategy to just running through the game. This place packs so many questions. The, universi the university will have a presence here for a long time once the news gets out, so another, another explorer. And they probably ended up falling like the rest. Gold potion. This might actually be a good time to just explore the different kinds of potions that I find. Up. Oh. Please don't jump at me like that. A worn steel mail. That's 6 AC, but also minus 2 speed. I think I'm going to go with my excellent. Like, at some point, I'm going to migrate over to, like, more heavier gear. I don't think there is, like, really that much... Uh, benefit to speed. I think I don't like. I think it might affect the rate at which you can swing your weapons, which would make it uh, a balancing act. But I think I will probably go and find more quicker weapons at some point. So I'm not really all that worried. Nobody has been in these ruins for centuries. What a find! The mountains ringing the tower have kept people away. The kingdom probably had portals to get here easier than we did. Okay, let's actually try this. Okay, that's uh, an iron skin. So that's just reduced damage. And that's magic shield. So we found two shield... Uh, shield potions. Okay, you're, all, you're so close that I'm just going to stab you to death with my sword. Plus, I had some uh, some of that magical shielding going there, so... A fine composite bow, but is it any better? Not really. Mine is just better. I think the unholy might mean that it does... Well, actually, we can try it. It's a two-handed weapon, so obviously we cannot uh, wield the lantern. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, maybe I need to try it on a an actual enemy. I don't have that many arrows, and I think once you shoot at an enemy, the arrow is lost. So that might be a little bit uh, wasteful, but I think I can probably find more arrows later on. Okay, hello. So let's try that on you. 
Okay, that seems to do damage at least. Yep, most definitely. Also, I think I got that arrow actually back. How many do I have? I still have four. Oh, I'm surprised. A paralyzed wand. So that's probably going to stop enemies on their tracks. Okay. I think all of these like paralyzed wand, uh, ones, not wands, ones also are also like newer stuff because uh, I don't think those existed when I first played this. There's so many new things that I'm discovering. I'm actually quite happy that I played this game. Mads, things further inside the ruins seem to be intact. It's just as we hoped. The location is off from where the old map said that uh, the mage's king, the mage king's tower would. And only the lower floors and basement are left intact. But all the things we're finding indicate that this place is... This is indeed the place. That this place is indeed the place, yes. I can read. <laughs> Barely. But I can. Talking about reading... Sometime... Oh. Apparently combat. Cannot talk. I had a conversation with some people some time ago about uh, reading while doing Let's Plays. And some people seem to really loathe it. And some people understand it but don't necessarily uh, enjoy it. Some people do enjoy it. Um, like, I know we don't necessarily have the most vocal community here. Not a whole lot of people are commenting, and I understand that. I mean, we're, we're a small channel. I think there's only a couple of people who are actually, like, actively watching my content. And I'm not sure if they watch... Like, actually, I, I did check the analytics for these videos, and the average view length is actually pretty decent. It's like, if people watch, they tend to watch at least a couple of minutes, which is more than on my previous channel. But it's just that we, we're not getting a hold of comments. But I, I, I still figured I should maybe bring this point up. So, um... I, I tend to read when I make Let's Plays. I tend to read, like, important notes. Uh, I mean, if the game provides some sort of a, an audio reading of uh, notes, like in System Shock 2, for example... I'm actually going to increase my damage. Seems that I cannot kill everything on one hit, and I would prefer to do so. There we go, that, that's a lot better. Okay, you... get stabbed. Oh, apparently there's someone behind me. And uh, one of the reasons I actually do that is to make sure that you guys can also read the stuff on the screen without having to pause. And uh, particularly with games where reading is actually important, I feel like just staying quiet and assuming how fast you're going to be able to read is uh, not necessarily the greatest way to go about doing that. Oh, what did I pick up? Oh, an excellent maze of storm! Um, and okay, is it, how fast is this? It's very slow. Yeah, compared to the other wand, it's indeed very slow, but it does lightning damage on top of uh, the base damage. So I think I'm going to keep that around. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the iron spiked maze of heft, even though it was it was a nice weapon. We're we're finding weapons that are so much stronger that I feel like I should uh, instead be using those. Yeah, the, my reasoning for reading stuff in uh, Let's Plays is to, like, obviously I'm not necessarily the greatest audio reading person. Oh, this has an unknown effect, but 9 AC. I'm a, I feel a little bit slower. So it probably has some sort of a slowing effect. 
I think there is a scroll that allows me to identify stuff. I'm gonna keep this around just in case this like turns out to be some sort of cursed item. I don't think like I can remove stuff if I want, so it doesn't like I don't think the game has uh, the sort of cursed item logic that uh, well, that's a, a hammer of blizzard. 5 to 8 damage plus 5 ice. I think I'm going to stick to the maze. The lightning maze seems a little more fun. Like if if I was a kind of the kind of a person that uh, is amazing to listen to while I read stuff, I would probably be in the audiobook industry rather than uh, the whole uh, Wait, is this? This is apparently a knight's bow, but it doesn't do a whole lot. It's not that interesting. I don't even know what all the effects are. Like, what does knights do? I don't even know. Uh, you, you're going to get stabbed. Well, not stabbed. Oh, an amulet of protection. That is actually a positive thing. It's just extra AC on top of the uh, stuff I already have. Okay, where is... I heard someone. I, but I don't know who that was. Huh. Well, we still have some places that we need to explore. Apparently there's a... Is there a secret way in the lava pool? There is. I am uh, curious, but probably not going to take the offer. Yeah, I feel like I need to read stuff to make sure that you have enough time to read them yourself. Or, uh, you know, so that you get the met like the stuff that the notes wh or whatever say. I'm actually going to eat that apple. Apparently the apple does the same amount of healing as a steak. Didn't know that. I thought they had like varying levels, but I guess not. It looks like there is, like, a path there. But that's probably a bad idea, let's not jump in there. Like, even though I am curious, I'm not going to end the run by jumping into a lava pool. Like, that feels stupid. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do, not going to do that. But I totally get, like, how some people feel like, uh, when a Let's Player just reads stuff, it's annoying because, like, some people read faster than others, and they probably read a lot faster than me when I do, like, actual reading, reading out loud, particularly. Obviously with some some stuff like uh, Morrowind, when I have books that I want to, like, to give you the opportunity to read, I just skim through the pages and let you guys pause, because I, I myself am not interested in those books. I've like forever said that I would go back and read the like various kinds of books in uh, in Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim even. Though these days I don't really play Skyrim. Um, but I've, I've never done it. That's the way down it seems. There is still one... or is there? There is actually this side of that one room that we need to uh, go and check out. I don't want to explore pretty much everything, because free equipment is free. And there's plenty of time. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of what I was... This is a bit of a discussion there. Because like, not a whole lot of stuff is at, like happening. At least not that exciting stuff at the moment, so I figured... Let's fill in the void with a little bit of uh, casual conversation from the player to the viewer. Okay, yeah, there's just absolutely nothing here. Let's go down a level. At least this is a this is a good thing. The exit and uh, well, the, both of the exits are very close to one another. That makes it easier when I eventually need to uh, get back. Because I can tell you, once we get that amulet, it's not going to be, you know, all rosy and fine. We're going to have pretty much... Oh, 
we are in question mark land. I think this is like a sort of a halfway point thing. Well, not really a halfway point, but just a pause.